Hello all and welcome to the Kevin Ayers Entertainment Video. It's Art here with my thoughts on the PlayStation Showcase that happened on May 24th, 2023. Uh, I did take some notes, so let me pull my notes up here, but uh, overall I thought the show was a bit too long for my liking, but it was still there, I guess. I guess is the best way to put it. But there were... Uh, 38 different announcements. Uh, Fair Games was the first game. It was a cinematic trailer, so there wasn't much to be gleaned from it. I will be looking at my iPad from time to time because it, this is where my um, notes are, so you'll have to pardon me on that. But yeah, Fair Games was a cinematic trailer. It looked like an open world uh MMO kind of uh, heist type game, but it definitely is too early on in development because they they didn't even show gameplay. The next game up was Hell Divers 2. I didn't play Hell Divers 1, but people were really excited for this Hell Divers 2. Um, people are looking forward to very, very, very much. Uh, and then you've got Immortals of Avium. This apparently was a game that came um, Ghost Runner 1 was a game that came out uh, last year or the year before on the PS5 so this is the sequel so if you like Ghost Runner 2 this is for you and then Phantom Blade Zero now this made me think it was Ghost of Tsushima 2 but it has that Ghost of Tsushima vibe which has me really, really interested and really, really uh, excited. Uh, th this is one of the ones that got me excited and a little bit hyped for the game itself. And then Sword of the Sea was an indie type game that was announced as well. Not much sh shown on it though. The Talos Principle 2, the sequel to, to Talos Principle, obviously. Um, People were excited, but I have not played the Talos Principle, so I would not know. Uh, Neva, from the makers of Abzu and Journey and Flower, uh, Neva was their game, and I think this is going to be uh, pretty awesome and pretty amazing. Uh, Foam Stars was from EA. It's an EA original, and it's a cross between a, a MOBA... Um, multiple user online battle arena and um, Fortnite and um, Splatoon series and it looked kind of goofy. I don't play those type of games so it had no interest to me personally. And then you got Cast Quote and Cat Quest Pirates of the Purbian and this looked amazing. It looked it looked right along there with the Cat Quest 1 and Cat Quest 2. It looked downright amazing, downright fun, and it's out in 2024, and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. And then we've got the Plucky Squire. Uh, it looked like a kind of a cross between Tearaway and cuphead a little bit and it looked really really good the art style looked really really good they did actually show gameplay for this they didn't announce a release date though but it did look really 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 good and then we've got teardown as the next game teardown didn't impress me much uh let's be honest it just didn't impress me all that much it was it kind of fell flat for me but if it got you excited, that's fine for me. But I thought it was a little bit flat. And it was mostly cinematic gameplay stuff. And some of these were cinematic gameplay. And uh, facsimiles of gameplay. Cinematic trailers, basically. And cinematic trailers don't get me hyped anymore ever since the original Watch Dogs. Uh, they've stopped getting me hyped. I like to see gameplay when you show off the game. Because then I can get hyped. Now, that being said, this next one was also a um, 
cinematic trailer, but I couldn't help but get hyped. Hyped because I've played the game before. I played the original before, and that is Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater. Or as some of us are calling, uh, or some people on Twitter are calling it Metal Gear Solid Triangle. But it's the, it's the Delta symbol. Delta means changed. That means it's not a remake. It's not a remaster. It's slightly changed. It's up -rezzed. And I can't wait to play it. And I sure to hell hope David Hayter reprises his role as Snake. We did find out too that coming out autumn this year will be the remastered versions of MGS 1, 2, and 3. Coming out in fall 2023. Towers of Agabast was next. Uh, Towers of Agabast is a kind of a Shadow of a Colossus Team Eco looking game and it looked interesting but once again it looked a little bit like Tears of the Kingdom 2 kind of a knockoff of that a little bit so I kind of like eh, I don't know it had me interested but I wasn't like jumping for joy Then, for some reason, they showed yet another trailer of Final Fantasy 16. I personally didn't want to see it. I personally checked out um, while it was playing because I don't want to know anything about this game. I've already decided that I'm going to be getting it you know, when it comes out on June 22nd, uh, late night, June 21st, uh, because I played 15, loved it. I'm going to play 16 and probably love it because it's from the same team. That made 15 and made seven and made the seven remake, and I, uh, I think it's gonna be amazing. And then I was floored off my gourd for the sequel to Alan Wake, Alan Wake 2. It's coming out October 17th of this year. That's right, right around the holidays. So I gotta finish my playthrough of Alan Wake before then. It probably started uh, in September because it doesn't take that long to beat a platinum. So, I will do that. And I was super duper 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 excited about that one. And then Assassin's Creed Mirage. Assassin's Creed is finally back. Mirage is the game. It's coming out October uh, 11th or 12th. It's due out. It looked like a... It looked like an up res version, a HD version of any other Assassin's Creed. We'll see how it plays, though. I am intrigued, though, because I am an Assassin's Creed uh, follower, because I do play some of the games. Some of the games I don't, though, when they suck. So the next one was Revenant Hill. This was a shadowy, art-like cat game, uh, which... For some reason, this generation is the cat generation, which, don't get me wrong, I'm down with. I'm a cat person, I'm a dog person, so anytime you, we, you want to put an animal in my game, I'm I'm all for it. It was very, very enjoyable, though. Um, then we have Fairfetic Fantasy, which was... Um, Kind of looked like a Fantasy Star Online game. And it was made by Sega, but it wasn't Fantasy Star. So, there you go with that. But it, too, was a cinematic trailer. And not, um... And not gameplay. It was cinematic. So, there you go. And then they uh, re released more fighter de details for Street Fighter VI. I will probably eventually get Street Fighter 6. Street Fighter is, is one of the fighting games I play. But I'm not really too jacked about it. But it does come out on June 2nd. So those that are excited for Street Fighter. You only have to wait a, b about a week more. One week more. A week from today as a matter of fact. And then uh, Ultros was the next game. And that was a, that one's a little weird to describe. Um, all I can say is that it didn't leave that much of an impression on me, to be frankly honest. 
And then we had uh, Tower of Fantasy. That kind of looked kind of good. It kind of reminded me a little bit of uh, Immortal Phoenix Rising and a little bit of, um, what's the game I'm thinking of? Kind of had me getting the dot hack vibes too. And then we had Dragon Dog Dragon's Dogma 2. I am actually excited for this game. I did play Dragon's Dogma. I am actually excited for this game, but we didn't get a release date and we only got a cinematic trailer, so it's a ways away. So I'll temper my excitement till I see more. And then we got Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted that's coming out later this year in the um, late 2023 is what it said. And I think that'll be decent. Then we got a bunch of PSVR news. We got Resident Evil 4 VR. We got uh, Arizona Sunshine 2 VR, Crossfire Sierra, Squad VR, Synapse VR, Beat Saber, Queen Pack VR, which was out now. Mar um, and that was all of the um, VR stuff. The reason I sped through that is because I don't own a PSVR. I pro one or two. I probably will never own one because VR makes me uh, queasy and sick to my stomach. So there you go with that. Then we got uh, Marathon, which is Bun Bungie's next live service shooter, which will be on all platforms per their agreement when they sign on to be a PlayStation Studio. Um, then Concord. Once again, just a cinematic trailer. Uh, a little bit of gameplay. It looked intriguing, but nothing I'm going to write home about. Because once again, we didn't get a date for it. You see a running uh, theme here. Then, we got a Sony Entertainment movie trailer for the Gran Turismo movie. I am super pumped about this movie. You don't need to sell me on it. Uh, granted, th this was the right place to put it on. Because it, it, it would have a lot of eyeballs on it. And a lot of fanboys would be on it and would be able to sing the praise of the trailer. And then they announced some new hardware. They announced um, the PSQ, kind of like a backbone kind of thing. A mobile device that kind of looked like a split in half uh, dual sense controller with a screen in the middle that would be able to play wirelessly. Uh, we want a new handheld. This was not it. Um, this was a remote play device that you kind of don't need because you can remote play on your phone. You can remote play on your tablet. They got the backbone out already. Like, there's plenty of remote play devices. I think they missed a boat here. Then they announced PlayStation earbuds as well. These have me somewhat intrigued as an audiophile. Um, as long as they're cheaper than what needs to be but we'll see because Sony ch ch tends to charge a premium for their stuff and then of course we got to the final game and for a while I didn't know what it was and once again we only got a fall 2023 release date but it was a long ass trailer for Spider-Man 2 and my god, does this game look great. Actual gameplay was in it. You get to play as Miles Morales and as Peter Parker, which makes it amazing. Meld the two world, worlds. Continue the two great um, stories. You, start, you started with Spider-Man 1 and also Miles Morales. Uh, continue those two great stories. Continue doing what you have to do to get what you have to done but my overall grade for the PlayStation showcase was a B what's your overall grade for the PlayStation showcase what games weren't there that you wanted to see there what games were there that were there that they surprised you uh, leave that in the comments down below but you know I make videos every Monday Wednesday and Saturday at Every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 
uh, 12.30 p.m. Central, 10.30 a.m. Pacific, 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see more, please ding the notification bell to be notified when I upload a video. And without further ado, game on! I'll see you again soon. And peace!